Ahead of the 2023 general elections, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, Bode George, is calling on INEC party leaders and managers to educate the people on the importance of the permanent voters' card, the PVC, and the need for the electorate to participate in elections. Our correspondent Jacinta Obuku reports. 72.7 million collected their permanent voters' card before the 2019 general elections, according to the nation's electoral body. This represents 86.3% of the over 84 million registered voters in the country. According to INEC, the percentage of the registered voters as at March 2019 stands at 49.78%. In a chat with a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party body judge, he said INEC and all concerned parties need to take voter education seriously if the next election will be anything to reckon with. There must be a deliberate effort to inform the people, to educate the people. The town criers must go out explaining to them, send those town hall meetings, let them explain to them, let them even show them the importance of the PVC. What does he do? How does he work in the various Nigerian languages? Voter turnout at the last election seems worrisome at 34.75%. On the streets, a cross-section of Nigerians shared the ideas on how to eradicate voter apathy. I think the government should sensitize the youths more on platforms that are known by the youths. For example, Meta, that's um, the new name for WhatsApp, and uh, most betting sites, so they should run adverts there because that's where youths go to involve the youths. I feel to get people come out to vote, the voting process should be kind of flexible. You know, we as Nigerians, we, we, we play a lot, we are always excited. I mean, because the, the voting process most times is rigid, rigorous, and a lot of people can't stand the stress. So when they see something that is exciting, maybe like something like a side attraction that can actually uh, excite someone or someone should come to, to actually come out to vote. They challenged INEC to do thorough checks and balances and its oppressions. Some of the PVCs that were not utilized, that were not collected, why? You know, those are the things I believe Prof and his team must go and be, uh, and ensure that all is well. Um, I know there's no system that is 100% perfect, but we want 99.999%. Perhaps the coming governorship elections in Oshun and Ekiti State, come June and July, will stand as a litmus test for the conduct of the 2023 general elections by INEC. Jacinta Obiuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.